What should you do when she wants to break up with you? And look, maybe this has come out of the blue. Maybe you were expecting it. But at the end of the day, she clearly has said to you she wants to break up or that's basically what she's communicated. And so I'm going to go over what you need to do in this situation. So stick around and I'll explain these things to you. All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, listen. It sucks, man. This has happened to me before too. I get it. She has just said she wants to break up. What do you do, right? How do you react? What do you do? That's what this video is about. So let me just get into it. You do nothing. Nada. Let me explain though. All right. You don't beg. You don't ask her why. You don't cry. You say this. Exactly say this quote unquote. Okay. You say, okay, I'm sorry you feel this way. And I guess it was nice while it lasted. Is there anything I can do to help in the, the transition? of us going our separate ways. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. You say this, and I'm going to repeat it. You say, okay, well, I'm really sorry you feel that way. And I guess it was nice while it lasted. Is there anything I can do to help in the transition of us going our own way? Cold as fucking ice, cold as ice. You know how she's going to react? She guaranteed every woman's going to react this way. She's going to go, that's your reaction? You mean you're not even going to ask me why? You're not, you're not upset? She's going to freak out because you're not reacting. And you don't say anything else. You say, well, there's nothing for me to say. If you don't want to be with me, I'm not going to beg you. I'm not going to get on my knees. And it is what it is. You have your own reasons. It doesn't matter what I think. So let me know how I can help with the transition. When you react like that, because at the end of the day, <clears throat> most I would say 70% of the time, it's a shit test. She's frustrated with things that are going on in your relationship. She ultimately doesn't want to leave you. But she's shit testing you now to see, are you alpha enough to step up to the plate and address these things and maybe even give me more attention, give me more love because I'm frustrated, right? Well, guess what? How you really show her you're alpha and you pass the shit test is not reacting and letting her know that you're willing to walk away. I don't know how many times I have to say this in my videos. Guys, why would you beg? Why would you get on your knees? Why would you cry? Fuck it. Who cares? You have options. There are tons and tons of women out there. And if you think for one minute, oh, well, she's special. Mm, okay, sure. Maybe she's got some qualities that you've it been a hard time to come around, but now she's complicating your relationship. Now she's making things difficult. Now she's putting stress on you. Now she's making things dramatic. Now she doesn't even want to be with you. She's, she, she wants to break up. So fuck that shit. You move on. Nobody is worth you begging for. Now here's the kicker. When you react like this, like I've just said, no emotions. You're like, look, I'm sorry you feel that way. Obviously, you know, um, you have your own reasons and it was nice while it lasted. And how can I help you with the change? Maybe she's living with you, right? Or it's complicated with parents or whatever. So you, you just offer that to her, right? <laughs> I'm sure this seven times out of 10, maybe even eight times out of 10, she's going to not want to leave and she's going to say, well, I'm just frustrated with this. And she's going to come up with these reasons that she doesn't really want to break up with you. She just wants to get a reaction. She wants you to address the things that are bothering her, whatever, whatever, whatever. But listen to this, brother. 
This is a major red flag. And you know what? If you keep her, if you have her with you, use her. That's right. Use her until you find someone else because it is a massive red flag. She's going to do it again. The fact she even did this once, she's not really ultimately into you. And she's very, very high risk of cheating on your ass anyways. So you have two choices. Choice number one, you go, nope, bye, boom, see ya. Or choice number two, and you use her. You keep her around until you find someone else and you go with that other person because karma is a bitch. All right? So karma is a bitch. Just remember that she's the one who initiated all of this. So you have those two choices. You leave her or you keep her around and you use her. So let me know in the comments what you think of this, um, what's been your experience. And especially I want to hear what your experience has been if you didn't react the way that I suggested and what ultimately has happened in the end. Or you did react in the way that I'm suggesting and what's happened ultimately in the end. All right. Thanks for watching, man. We'll see you next time.